Alright, what's up everybody on Deck 3rd I Cam today's date? Um March 16, 2023, and the time is 1702. I'm literally just stepping out of class. This is my classroom school right here. You know what I'm at? And I've been watching um asteroids pass by all day behind a big planet. Planetoid went east, that's east. And then all this is following up behind it. I'm gonna take a walk, but you can literally see how the stuff is smoking in. There's there's a chem trailer there. Let me make sure I can see them. I can't really see them. I hate when that happens my camera blurred out. He's right here. There he is. Um, and you see all these, that's the asteroidal body, planetary asteroidal body right there. All these little asteroids right here. See the little elongated, like firework looking projectiles with trash coming in behind them. Right here. This stuff is like literally passing over our planet's atmosphere. So I'm gonna take a walk. I think there's something right here also. Oh, you can definitely see that one. This one just really, literally rolled out into some kind of clear position. There's a chemtrailer here. And you can see another chemtrailer's tail went through here. That's definitely a asteroidal moon. You see the lit side, the terminated line, and the dark side. There's something right here. Right there. Like a geoid. And that's the tail behind it. Let me take a walk. I'm trying to look up in the sky, but like I'm in, surrounded by buildings, so it's like a really slow thing. Hold tight. All right, just had to cut my camera off real quick and cut it back on. Um, This is really beautiful. You can see where the sky gets dark here, and then it gets back um, to our regular sky blue at the horizons versus the uh, top. You know, sometimes I often wonder why this stuff hasn't come down here and dropped in on us yet. But I don't really know how the universe is made apart from the way certain people that lied probably 89% of the time about how this, how everything works outside of Earth's atmosphere. They mostly lied about things. So we're just trying to figure it out. Hang tight. All right, everybody, we're back real quick. I need to show y'all some things. Make sure I'm not on the wrong camera. I need details. I might have to switch over to my other camera. Mm, let me see how it looks. Let me switch over to my other camera. Hang tight. All right, back. Uh, same date. The time is 17, 13, 7, 13 for my civilians. Okay, so let me zoom y'all in on some things. See this patch of sky right here? Now I know it just looks like clouds, this tail. But when we zoom in, I'm gonna zoom, point out before I zoom in. This is your object, right? See the, the circumference is going through our blue sky, so everything's coming out really weird. Let me zoom in. Okay, so this portion is the environment melting which is ice off of that planetoid or that rock this is the dark side of it it's being encased in clouds that's another perimeter of it that's the second tail being burnt off right it's up there next to another one or it's the same one you back it out see either this is one or it's all like a heart shape or a, a lumpy rocking space and it's all pulling off the same side right i don't know why we can't see these dang things past our blue sky but they're there See how this is coming off? This is the lit side. It's cloud pattern burning off and it's trading with another, some more asteroids around it. This is the surface right here. The sun is hitting this side. Again, our sun is not 93 million miles away, so this stuff is coming in pretty much over the top of it and behind it. There's the sun right there, just right here. I'm backing up so you can see it, all right? Let me get out into the, there's the sun. You see it peeking around the building. I'm using the building for cover. 
This is your planet, or a portion of it right here, all of this. And look, there's a rainbow. So that's in the Sun's Goldilocks zone. There's two chemtrails, one right here, and the other one's right here. Let me zoom in on them. That's number two. Number one is under the cloud right here, somewhere here. They're triangulating past that. Here's another uh, little nugget type of asteroid. It's probably the size of a freaking uh, a courthouse building or something like that. Probably bigger than that. These things are colossal. Probably bigger than our moon. Or just the same, the same size as our moon. These things are sitting way back out in space. But they're coming close enough to touch our atmosphere. Here's um, one above my head. That's coming off the one rainbow this Goldilocks zone. Look at this guy. See how this guy just circled around? See that? He circled all the way around from south to... Well, he's going north. And now he's going northeast towards the Atlantic. And he's coming to intercept all this right here. He's going to fly pretty much to the middle of it. He probably belongs to those two uh, that I pointed you out. So they, they're checking distance and speed, and he's calibrating the like the end of it. You can see him coming right now. Like honestly, nobody has time to play games, and we're past all this already. This is a lot of people. I'm gonna need y'all to advance yourself past your little kindergarten state, straight into college. And I'm a professor there, cause I know what I'm talking about. Another body right here. No, I pointed this one out to you. I'm just showing you things that as they roll. Here's my big one right here. It's probably bigger than what I'm pointing out, but it's there. Look at my big one coming up behind the sun. I don't know why we can't see all of this yet, but I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you. Again, these things are getting so close. I don't know how much dangerous and close they're going to get. But these guys are having a conniption trying to keep up with what's going on out there. And that's why I really think a lot of confusion is being stirred up. And he's flying up on the one right now, asteroids. A lot of computers are being stirred up in the world to keep you from all from looking up. At some point, you're going to be forced to have to look up because all this stuff is going to tumble in through our atmosphere and cause some havoc. This is real beautiful. This one's really beautiful. So these asteroids are coming around this body. You can see some of the asteroid sweeps to the right, the little pinch points, cloud really white thicket pinch points those are actual bodies They're being burned by the sun um where's this one i'm trying to figure out where this one is here's the tails it's hard to tell mr kimmy is passing by that one again there's the other one pushing off that way you can see the undertow of it being lit up by our sun i don't know i just don't i keep saying i don't know why they keep coming in but we can't see oh look at this one it looks like a freaking ice cube and he's about to pass that one. That's probably one of the closer ones and he wanted to fly close to it to get a good trajectory since it's being drugged by the bigger body. And that's what I would go for if I was a pilot. Go for the one that's closest to us when we shoot our scanners and lasers at it. And whatever bounces back is the closest range to my craft. Instrument readings. That's the one I'm, a, I'm going to move close to and then adjust from that once I get a reading of it. And the rest of them are just further out in space. Whatever space is, is a space from the ground where our feet touch to where these other bodies start, which is their body. Look at this rainbow coming in too. There's a planet right here above my head. And then the, you know, the sun is hitting this Goldilocks zone. That's what I call a Goldilocks zone when you get the rainbow. People still don't know what's going on and some still refuse. Like, and this is a real fake ass planet. Hunter, Hunter keeps saying he doesn't listen to anybody anymore because that's the that's that's the conversation of a loser. And like I said, I'm gonna ride him and people like him straight into hell and then they're gonna get sealed up. If you can't handle the change of this world and you don't believe in a God and you don't believe in these UFOs which have really been here since the biblical times, then you're trapped in your own little matrix and you're about to have a rude awakening. This is the tail coming off a body right here. So that's the tail. This is the body right here. Now these things have been coming through all day. They've been coming through all day. 
Honestly, I think it's so beautiful that they are doing what they do, you know. There's another one, another guy. The reason why I have to keep doing these consistently with the dates, we're cataloging here. So I don't enjoy having to keep going back over the same thing that I just really have research, search and research and research and you know, nothing changes being consistent. Um, a lot of y'all got a trick played on y'all because y'all not paying attention. I know it's hard to tell exactly what's what, but again, a lot of y'all that took the Kool-Aid punch in the arm, it seems like y'all brain cells got diminished by that concoction. And uh, you just kind of at a loss. And then when people like me, real serious, come on, you think I'm playing about what I'm seeing. And I keep showing y'all these UFOs, everything that I keep showing y'all that's irregular, moving faster than our Earth craft, which ain't moving that fast. Um, it's either UFO meteorite, most of them are UFOs. And most of those are designed to look like they're moving like UFOs or uh, meteorites with the UFOs. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Something else should come up once I get to a different location. I'll jump back to the sky after I show y'all these little asteroid patches or land terrain patches. Look at this. That one. They come out real clear, and this one coming out real clear. That's land terrain on either a little asteroid or a bigger body. I think the blue in our sky actually hides, and you know, that's probably peeking out from the bigger body. I think it hides most of whatever that is up there. Just like when you, when you look into water, you can only see but so far. I think our sky is conducting in the same um, narrative and operation as above, so below, right? It's really interesting. All this. Beautiful too. I think all this is land terrain. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce. I just want to show you all this. Uh, see what else the sun yields as this stuff rolls out. Alright, we'll be back. Cool. Alright, y'all, back real quick. I could not get here fast enough. So look at this. There's a planet body right there. See all these guys crossing around it? Four of them. I literally watched them converge on it. <clears throat> right there. Now I watched it form up, right? And I'll show you more planets, heavenly bodies behind the sun but i was riding to this clearing so i was pretty much riding along the road and i had to come to this clearing from way over there uh to show you i saw the planets forming up as they were crossing and as soon as this one lit up this is the back end of it so every time they talk about sun dogs on tv um that's the back of what the sun is hitting on the other side so the sun is there this planet is in proximity to the sun you see the, the shadow of it that's why these guys swept across it three going that way one going this way, south, north, northeast, southeast. That's your whole body right there. Let me get in closer. The, the sun dog, so-called sun dog, is the sun hitting the other side of the planet, planetoid, asteroid, whatever, and lighting it up. And then you see the dark shadow, that's our dark side. Can't make that up. Um, another planetoid right here, you see them flying to it. Yep, see? All this stuff just emerged, and they're converging on it. I don't know where these guys, I guess they were chasing it. There's another one headed uh, east. Damn, there's more headed east. There's chemtrail on that one. See them right there, between the two. Uh, there's a big body right here. This is, these are all asteroidal. This whole deal, asteroid. Two tails coming off of it. One is direction is going, one is what the sun is running off, leaving behind. And, uh, Look, they're going across this body right here. So you got a bigger body Right here Probably going all the way around bigger and they're coming across it and it's them. They're covering up the Sun 
His clouds are covering up the sun. Again, the sun is not 93 million miles away. It's right here in Earth's eco-galactic system. These planetoids are sweeping behind the sun. We're under a firmament. We're in a human aquarium. And, and here's another thing I was thinking as I was riding. If the Earth were not, um, didn't have a firmament over it or around it or whatever, protective shield, um, it would, we would be burnt out like these other planetoids. They have no outer atmosphere, I'm presuming. Not assuming, based on the research, and it makes sense. They don't want to tell you that, so they made up all these stories like Star Trek, Star Wars, not about the ships themselves, but the way space operates. That's a narrative that everybody went with Star Trek, Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica. I mean, that's what we were told from that per NASA. So that's what everybody went with to make money, and it's not their fault. I love those shows. I would love to have a sun sitting in the middle and the planets going around it, but I don't think that's possible based on what I'm searching, researching, and finding out. We got all these bodies passing behind the sun, probably in front of the sun or across it. Uh, one thing's for sure is they have not blocked it out yet. I think that's my Aussie and I, the iris, the top lid, bottom lid. Um, it looks like it. I think it is it. Looking for certain characteristics. Yep, that is it. See it coming out? There's my Aussie and I, right next to the sun. Right here. Shows the same characteristics. There's the iris, the bottom lid, the little stretching little, I call them little pencil claws in the front, which is some asteroids. The top lid. There's a planet surface. And then that's one of its asteroids. And I think that's its Earth-like planet passing. Yep, the Earth-like planet. And that's where they're headed to, the chemtrailers. So yeah, I haven't seen my eye, I'll see an eye in a minute. There's one of its asteroids with a chemtrailer passing next to it. So yeah, my all seeing eyes getting ready to pass over my head. One of its asteroids is Earth-like moon planet, a uh, smaller asteroid, all seeing eye coming out of its cloudy cover. And now I saw it forming up, I just didn't know what it was. And let me see, what is this? One of its smaller other asteroids there yep that's my OCNI so what I'll do is ride a little bit more and then come back to it and as soon as it passes within proximity as it separates from the Sun we'll get eyes view on it okay let me do a spin that's my west north east south and you can see the asteroid that's one of my other bigger planets over here see these little lines those are not just earth clouds they're outside of Earth's atmosphere coming off of another planetoid all right, y'all hang tight. Okay, I'm back, same date, and the time is um, 1813, 613 for my civilians. So there's the sun. This is, oh damn, one of my asteroids that came through with a chemtrail. I'm about to show y'all something else. Chemtrail passing from the south to the north. See this rainbow going the other way from the sun? That's the bottom of my all seeing our planet. I see the land terrain right here, and that's the rest of my all see and our planet contouring there's the let me make sure one of its asteroids asteroid oh okay yeah yeah this is all seeing eye all this right here and this is this earth-like deal or the back of it this no this is the sun dog that got lit up i'm sorry here we go so this rainbow right here is the sun dog that's being lit up by our sun that's the surface of it you're, you're looking at the contouring dark side of it uh there's our regular sky and it gets dark as I go up there's your surface of it comes around comes around and right here goes all the way around all right you can literally see it is jagged but you can see the land terrain showing up right here some land terrain let me see so this is going to be calm I'm going to put this in a red thermal because I really want y'all to see the details of it okay there's this earth like there it is Earth-like planet, moonoid. There it is. Asteroids, asteroids, asteroids. There's the Earth-like moon planet. Let me zoom in on it. See the contour of the the gases coming off of it. And this is the whole our all seeing eyes directly above our heads, y'all. My all seeing eye. I'm glad to to be able to see it come through. And you can see it. Let me zoom in on this rainbow. There it is. That's the surface of it. The back of it. 
that's what the surface of it looks like. See the thick rainbow? It took me a while to figure this stuff out because I came out here to pay attention and not play games. There's another asteroid. You can literally see the craters on this asteroid. Zoom in. See if I can get closer and closer. You can see the craters on it. Here and out. Land terrain, y'all. Matter of fact, let me back it off. I'm gonna, because I'm gonna decode this one. There it is. I'm gonna decode that one. Surface. My camera accidentally cut off. I hit a button. But well, you can see the surface of it. The sun is in my eyes. That's why I can't. The sun is literally blinding me. Beautiful, ain't it? And all that land terrain. Y'all can't put no more woods over my eyes. So anybody thinking I'm crazy, you know, it sucks to be you. Cause my third eye is completely open. Paying attention. It deserves. I don't have time to pay attention to any foolishness. Any wars, any false prophecies, any false prophets, anybody pretending like this ain't happening. Anybody saying they don't listen to people anymore because they got it all figured out, which they are delusional. And I busted their whole show down to like nothing. While they were trying to antagonize Planet X Hunter, the real Planet X Hunter, he's done moved on. Look, there's more chemtrails coming. And this guy's about to catch up to this asteroid. <sighs> what are they doing is spreading out to contour the laterals of the, this, uh, of my Oceanide that's passing through. One's going lateral south, one's going lateral north. See them? And that's what you do. You get on the outside of an object that you're chasing so you can monitor it. And that's what these two guys are doing. And there's a third one following up behind them. See, they travel in threes, if not fours or fives. But all they're doing is mapping. There's nothing wrong with that. So I normally get that stupid contrail video or uh, this definition because y'all think I'm trying to be hostile towards what y'all doing. I'm actually not. I'm educating the public why y'all are trying to deceive them. So for a person who's educating and showing you what they're seeing and they pretty much got it mapped out and then you got those guys that come with the subversion, that means I'm telling the truth. And they don't want y'all to find out because they probably figure y'all gonna panic like they're panicking because they can see more than we can. And uh, this stuff is downright scary. Look at this planetoid, look at that. You see the dark side, you see the face of it, see the lit side like a moon. And I'm zoomed all the way out. Jesus Christ. Yep. That's the back of my OCNI. and I. Coming into uh, apart from the sun, like I showed y'all, told y'all earlier. Once it gets apart from the sun, you'll see it pop out. That's its lit side. There's the sun going down in the horizon. And there's the lit side of it. And these guys are following it. There's one right there. And the other guy right there. That guy right there. He's starting to come into fruition. Hang tight. That's the coolest thing to see this whole sphere coming into view. And just because we can't see the rest of it in the sky mean it don't mean it ain't there. That's what I've been trying to show people for the longest and nobody's paying attention. Our sky is concealing, the blue in our sky is concealing a lot of it. And because our sun is not 93 million miles away and it's really a relatively small sun, it's only gonna highlight a section of it. And you can see the sphere, the whole sphere popping out right here. The whole sphere, and there's more of it. These are other segments of it, asteroid or whatever, small moon. Back on my OC and I. And everybody thinks this is just clouds. Oh, they're just clouds. Have no damn idea. This is my other chemtrailer. And I'll show you this other planet forming up. Chemtrailer. Now, see this drop right here? It's 
going past the trees. That's my other planet that's coming up. It's probably Nepicity. Bringing this debris with it. There's another chemtrailer following up behind that. Another one right here checking another lateral limit. So they're all chasing this and this above my head. Literally. As a matter of fact, let me flip my camera. All right, so you just see the whole planet behind my head, over, over my head. That's how you know I'm not faking it. And howdy, everybody. Um, there's something behind me. That way nobody can say, oh, you're photoshopping. There's a chemtrailer right there. Can't make that up. There's my OCI behind me, above me. There is the little asteroid, one of its asteroids right here. All this is in its debris. Um, let me see. There's a bigger planet over here, contouring right here. And the sun on my shoulder. Can't make this stuff up. Like I said, it's beautiful, ain't it? I'm trying to get the contour of it. Anyways. It's bright out here. It's beautiful. It's a good good day. Show you that. That's the whole sphere right there. All that. All that. And probably more. Beautiful. Oh, there's more chemtrails. Let me flip y'all to them. More of these guys coming. And if y'all notice, my videos have been relatively short, but right now I'm just kind of... It's good weather. My planets are coming out, so they're hit, helping to heat up down here. Let's see, one, two, three, four chemtrailers. Y'all see them? One, two, three, and four. And there's more up there, I'm pretty sure. They've been, they're chasing all this. And again, these planets travel from west to east. That's why California is having such snow uh, because these things range from pole to pole, from North Pole down to South Pole and back and forth. Um, and that's why the weather was so messed up at the beginning of, at the end of 2022, beginning of 2023 and why the whole country's been getting caught and beat up. Why that big cyclone is out over in the Pacific just tearing California up. These planets are doing this. Think about it, y'all. It's like a blender, a little spatial blender. They come through with their orbits, their rotations, and their asteroids, and they swirl up all this as they come through. And your government's too scared to tell y'all what's going on, but I'm not. It's my damn planet. I got a right to say what I want. I actually freaking earned it. Why? Because I'm doing the research. Why? Because I went to war to, to have the freedom to say what comes to your freaking mind, imagination, or factual. All right, I'm gonna move on, but we saw our, my planets right here, here, here. My camera's pushed all the way out. My OC and I, back of it, in front of it's up there somewhere as it's rolling out. Here comes our sky horizon right here, the regular blue and all that trash. More roll out, I just wanted to show y'all that. Hang tight, poof, we'll be back. All right, we're back. Check this out, one of the coolest things. So I'm back in the same spot. I'm back at home base. There's my OC and I headed that way, right? This is the very same spot. When I first caught the OC and I, this is where I caught it. So let me walk over to where I was. Actually, my truck was parked actually over here. Yeah, I was parked to make sure. No, it was right here. My truck was parked right here. Yep, right here in this spot. And I was in front of the camera and it came through this way the first time. Let me raise my camera up. Came through this way and traversed to right where you see it is now literally over those same treetops this time around today and look this Kim trailer is going around the sun he's he's mapping out a planetoid headed towards it that one right there see that perimeter that's my one of my other planets going down below the horizon and contouring out there somewhere but back to Mossy and I so today it came across the sun Split this way. This is the exact path it took to right where you see it is now. Beautiful, ain't it? Man, this is awesome. And it's just got so much with it. Got so much with it. And that's literally it right there. 
it's got that little asteroid that drops below it that's the whole eye right here um so a lot more of it that's one of its asteroids right here sorry one of its asteroids right there is earth like moon right there and this whole damn thing is the all seeing eye above my head so it's passing it's in passing and like i said you can see this guy nepicity is over here to the right of the sun he's tracking with nepicity and his asteroids and moons and the breed with it there's our sun there's no man on it see if i see anything near around it like this whatever this is something's passing slightly in front of the sun or around it and tomorrow's friday thank god and the weekend's coming so my telescope is going to be out and if it ain't too cold i'll be mapping the night stars there's another chemtrailer inbound Oh yeah, there's my OC and I hit it this way. Punch it all the way out. I got my camera on this dang stick. I think it's floating wrong. Let me see. It's floating wrong. Okay, that's my steel position. Okay, I like that better. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, so when i'm moving this my camera stationary that's what i need i'm tripping y'all heck yeah that's what i really need so every time i'm moving my camera i had it in the wrong setting it's really stuck there though I'm trying to get it back where i was um now that's really gonna have to move it myself there we go so I locked in on the all C and I, and I can swivel my camera and it's stationary. See, I can move my hand. That's cool. That's what's up. I actually like this feature. It's a bit slower, but at least I'm allowed to um, be more stationary, it stabilizes the camera. Camera already has a stabilizer in it. It's just stabilizing it more. Look, these guys are, look at this, these guys are crossing up. See, I didn't even see all that. While I'm playing with my camera stick. Bib up to Vibitar, this is the camera stick, smartphone stabilizer. The VGIM Pro 3 Black. This thing is awesome. I don't really try to pull it out too much, but I'm still, you know, using it for different situations. Um, I'm still learning how to work. I don't, that's to tell you how I don't pull it out that much. And again, this is one of my moon planetoids. Just trying to see what these guys are tracking to. Look, there's a body right there. I'm trying to get in up on it. Without moving my camera too much. About to swing back on my all seeing eye plane. I'm just trying to see what's what. I'm trying to see if I can get these guys to focus in. Ugh, I can't do it. These asteroids right here, these clouds, these little clouds, these asteroids. I tell you, boy, it's a whole new world, y'all. I, for one, am glad been back around to my all seeing eye planet which is below the tree line now that's it right there i'm trying to wait for it to get out there more so i could really get your eyes on it now that i got my camera on the stabilizer i'm moving my camera around not too much but you know 
see that's my finger holding on to the stick. I can rotate and this thing is just stable, stable, steady. Get the landmass out of the way. This is cool. Let me switch over to my other. Let's see what my other one does. Okay. Let's me rotate around. I think this is the one I was looking for. Yep. My setting. See, these guys are crossing by that little asteroid that I was telling y'all about. So I'm imagining, or uh, not imagining, I don't imagine too much. I'm calculating, because I use that word, because I'm calculating, I don't assume that those are in proximity to Earth. See how clean they're showing up? And these guys are passing right up under it. Literally, they probably can fly just outside our atmosphere and land on that damn thing or pass by it without putting themselves in danger. Here's another one up here. Look at that. Landmass. This is a lengthy video, just something around. I don't mind, I hope y'all don't mind either, but we gotta get these details in here. Asteroid busting out right here. Let me make sure. Yep, there's another controller there. Passing next to this one. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on between my asteroids, geoids, moonoids, and planetoids and my UFOs. <sighs> I'm just waiting for these guys to show up to the point where, you know, there's gonna be some kind of war. Because the current people that we have in power that don't want to give up their scepter, don't want to have anything above their heads because they're weak asses, don't want to be in power of a Gentile nation, nature, both. And I really mean that. Those guys go to war with anything, anybody. This is one of my planets right here. You see the contour of it. Control right here. There's a moon asteroid type right there. Yep. See my all seeing eyes going below the tree line. It's all that out there. And you see the asteroid. This is the whole all seeing eye. There we go. So surface of it, surface. It's Earth like moon right there past the tree. This is the contour, like surface of it. Let me get in close. As it pushes away, we should start being able to see more of it. I'm still trying to figure out why they don't show up all the way clear because I would like to see them in the clear, but it'll probably scare a lot of people. So it's probably best that they remain concealed past the blue sky. Can you imagine how people will freak out? Now the kids that ain't born yet that's on the way, seeing that would be nothing to them. To see multiple anomalies in orbit flying around or above the earth on a daily in the clear, just like our moon does. But you guys from the old, gym, old world, that's a about to change y'all will freak out behind this and probably have heart attacks asteroid moon deal you can see the asteroid popping out if i can get my camera to clear up <laughs> i have to do a digital zoom I had to tap it to clear it. I dropped my camera so many times I gotta get a new one. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and break on this. All the action has passed, so I'm gonna really do any more. I've showed you everything that has passed. If anything else pops up, you know me, I'm gonna show you, but everything's starting to kind of clear out with the sun. I know these bodies will clear out. A lot of them so far out, like this is the sky filler. It's the lit side of it. Perimeter there it goes at the tree line. The back side of it right here. And then the sky color changes back to our regular blue. It gets dark right here. Terminator line, this is the Terminator. Literally. 
come above my head. And this is the lit side of it. That's why you see all these chemtrails keep passing. These things are scopulous. I think this is an epicity or a Saru or two. One of the bigger ones. Yep. Let's see what the sun looks like one more time before I call it. I notice when I get it on the sun, it dims it down. The camera it automatically dims it down. You can see more around the sun. And see where the chemtrails are flying across the sun? One, two, three, four trails. They're trying to hide the big planet that's passing behind it. Every time this happens, they start flying all across the sun. Can you imagine the shit storm? If the whole world finds out that third eye camera is absolutely correct and the sun is in Earth's galactic ecosystem and this big planet is passing behind the sun, you can see its land terrain. And it's so big, it's taking up the sky and it's got little asteroids like this coming with it whose formations don't change. Earth clouds change formation as the wind blows, correct? Let's use our noodles. That's a whole freaking moon right there. Let me back it up. You see the lit side, you can see the Terminator, you can see all the trash around it, just like a, a, a it's out in space. It's got broken off debris around it, small ones that are asteroids that it has collected. And it's sitting on the dark side of my bigger planet. Which is all above my head. Let me switch over to my stationary um, deal. I mean, I need my camera not to move while I'm surveying that bigger planet and telling you all about it. Mr. Magic. All that right there. This is our big planet. Right here. Come across the sun, dipping down below. There's this little moon. This is beautiful. The way this thing is coming in. It's so freaking beautiful. I need to get my stabilizer on it so I can lock in on it. And um just you know just really detail it. I want y'all to really see that. That's a group of moons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six so far. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get it up. Ah, the stabilizer's giving me a, a headache. Let me back it out some. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. And. My Aussie and I, right there. I mean, my own, the land terrain of the planet is starting to show up. Land mass is starting to show up. I see another controller inbound. Really interesting. That's land mass showing up right there. Turn away from the sun. There's your land mass. Damn, that's beautiful. You can literally see it. Look how dark, dark the sky is. Right here, my cloud keeping formation. That's my little small moon. These are the land masses, little mountain ridges coming off of it with their clouds. Zoom in on this again. I'm trying to show you all the stroke chain changing. Can't make this stuff up. And at this point, I'm too much of a professional. See, see look, so look at these chemtrails. Oh my God, they're crossing up. Right here, look at this trash, man. See how they crossing up? Wasn't even looking for them, but you could just see them. Something else is coming. I can show it to you real quick. That's the top perimeter of it. Right here. It's coming from behind the sun. 
There's a perimeter of it. They cross up in front of it. Even that guy. As the sun is going down, this stuff is really starting to show up. Look at the subversion, man. And then this guy's curving, coming in my direction. Look at this damn subversion. That means too much that they can do, but like, damn. Let me go back to this one. Above my head, directly. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put me on camera again. Hold up. Hold up. All right, above my head, land terrain. See it? Yo, know, there's the little moon asteroids right there. Can't make this stuff up. Land terrain. And what else is coming behind the sun? Let me see if I can block the sun out with my shoulder. Uh, it's too bright. There's more coming though. I'm really worried about that one. It's too bright. But as you can see, this land, all this above my head is land terrain. These are pretty much our new permanent planets that have been here before. They come back every 3,600 years and they're back now. Uh, so civilization is about to repeat or, or reset to a degree. And the people that are in power don't want y'all to know this. And that's why they're going through all this chaos to subvert and hide and make up false wars. I mean, people are going to die. I'm, I might be one of them. I might be spared. I don't know. But I'm just saying a lot's going on right now. It's just so much chaos. But you can see that beautiful land terrain above my head. Get me out of there real quick. Let me flip my camera back around. And look how my clouds keep structure. Why are they holding the same structure if these are just regular earth clouds? Straight up, they don't do this type stuff. Land surface and cloud. Hey. Back to this. And this, this one's starting to look like a heart now. One of my neighbors. They see me do this stuff all the time. So they know exactly what I'm doing. This, uh, this looks like a heart. Beautiful, ain't it? This is one month, happy late Valentine's Day to planet Earth from our planets. <laughs> and then let me zoom out. Look at um rest of my sky. This is where they crossed up earlier. See the X? They suck. Let me show you the more cross-ups out there. More chemtrails. They're pretty much lacing everything next to the sun so you can't see these planets incoming. These heavenly bodies. Again, because y'all people are so culturally canceled and over emotional, you would freak out. Nobody has a scientific mind. Plus, the little Kool Aid punch I got shot in the arm has got everybody really antsy. While I get to watch the show uninterrupted with my brain cells, not high, not drunk, not on drugs. As one idiot tried to tell me that I'm on drugs. Actually, a few of them and one family member told me I was on drugs. And you know what? Those are going to be the first ones to hit the damn ground begging God for their lives. When these planets bust out of their cloudy covers and really show up, all you people, all you heathens that are, have been denying it, and then you go before God and he's going to be like, well, I sent third eye cameras to tell you guys. He's paying attention. But you chose to ignore him. So you ignored him, therefore ignoring me. I imagine that's what God would say to him. Yeah, I'm gonna say God sent me. It's cool though. See my other planets coming up. And look how dark my sky is right here. 
compared to the horizon. Regular blue sky, regular blue sky, so. Uh, body, more land terrain and it gets dark here. This is what's dipping down below the sun, the arc enough to be in the dark. That's why these guys are chasing it, this guy. And he's at supersonic speed. Amazing. And my camera cut off on me. Well, I did that. It's cool though. Just want y'all to see this guy. No, I'm having a hard time controlling my camera on the stabilizer. It's not working with me. Once I figure it out, I'll have it. Right now, it's just giving me a fit. Anywho. Yeah, that's what it do. One of my planets right there. That's my stabilizer kicking in. Uh, planet behind me, Kim Trailer, you can see them going across. My head flying at supersonic. There's my little heart planet deal. Asteroid. And there's the surface, give me a second, of my planetary asteroid deals. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up cause my, I think I'm running out of space and I gotta go clear this out, make this video. All right. Maybe I'll get to see some UFOs later on or, or what have you, whatnot. I just want to show y'all what the sky's looking like. Let me see more chemtrails coming through wherever that is. I'm trying to hide stuff. There's the sun going down below the horizon. More chemtrails, three of them this time. And yeah, that's that. So west, south, my all seeing our planet went that way. All these other planets are following. East, north, everything's going back down south. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be warm tomorrow. All right, do what I can, we're out of here. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next round. Please watch, like, subscribe, and share. Pass it on to your peoples. I don't really say that too much, but you know. I thank y'all for doing that anyways. Sharing with your peoples. Third I can poof. Alright, just to add on to my video, um, another chem trail is streaking through. And whatever they were hiding is starting to come out. It's above the sun. So this is the whole thing right here. You see it? That's what they were trying to hide. Um Let me make sure. Yep, there it is. It's a uh, asteroid moon deal. So they're contouring around with it. Oh, it's actually egg shaped. So it starts here, goes around, comes around, boom. You back it out. See how it's above the sun and the sun is lighting it up. And see where the, their trail disappears? That's where the sun is hiding. Uh, the shadow is the back of this um, asteroid. Yeah, I got this stuff figured out. It's, it's so easy. And this is your asteroid boat. Right here. Interesting. And I'll, I got this thing in my hand, so it's not showing. It's, it's pretty stable in my hand. Above my head, rest of my planetoid. Rest going out that way. Over here. And then what's coming up above the sun, which is really pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of this. But you can see the, the the light rays coming off of it here, here, here. Everything's gonna be put into a, like a red thermal. So that way we can see more of it. You know, I really hate when people circle. This chick just circled all around my damn position. Like I, people like that make me uneasy and psycho they're psychotic. Don't circle me like you're a shark.
just for the sake of wanting to be nosy, like she circled me like a little thirsty shark. That really makes me lose respect for you when you do that. Again, these guys, you saw that guy back there. And you see this one right here. They're chasing the encompass this asteroid right here. It looks like an asteroid, it's oval shaped like an egg. There's the whole thing right there. Beautiful. Again, sun's going down, these things are coming up behind the sun. The sun's right here in Earth's uh, neighborhood. These asteroids are more than likely bigger than the sun. They're big chunks of asteroid flying off of that have been captured by these bigger planetoids. Uh, Nepicity, Sarua 2, Mateen. Um, and that is what it is. I'm pretty sure there's life up there. I'm going to come out tonight with my night vision to see if I see any UFOs tonight. Um, just because. All right, I'm going to be out of here. Y'all have a good one. Matter of fact, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, see it coming out into the clear? See, look at that. There it is. Yep, I can see it with my own naked eyes. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Beautiful. Whole thing right there. I'm pretty sure when I put the red thermal on it, it's going to show up really clear. That's why I'm kind of just getting getting good shots of it. Yep. And it's probably more likely bigger than that. I'm just looking at a specific piece of it. Pretty sure it's more than that. This guy's getting pretty dark again. But then the shadowing coming off of this planet is also... This guy's making all this noise. He's trying to see what I'm doing too. Let's zoom in on him. And the way he went. All right, one more spin and I'm out. There's one of my other planetoid moons and there's my little heart shape. That's the one that was above my head earlier and the heart is in front of the heart shape little hoo -yah there, still holding structure. Cause it's an asteroid and not a cloud. And again, more asteroids, these guys are flying and it's lighting up our skies as the sun goes down. So this is the bottom contour of a planet also right here and above my head. Let me see. Yep, look at the land terrain showing up. Y'all better be glad that God designed this planet to hide. Uh, these, how God designed this is hiding a lot. Y'all should be lucky. A lot of y'all can't handle what I'm bringing. You're gonna end up like Alex, Luan, yeah, I said his full name. His full govy. Mr. Real Fake Ass Planet X Hunter. In denial. Because he can't keep up. Anyway, enough about that guy. I really don't like to say his name. Because then he'll come up with some dumbass video. As soon as he sees this video. and he'll, Oh, he said, my, he said my name. I'm famous. I'm famous. I'm so famous that the third I Kim guy keeps saying my name. No, you're a fake. I only say your name to embarrass you. Make you infamously stupid. Do you come off that little high horse that you're on? Um, I was going to say something else, but y'all was like, oh, you're being funny. I'm not going to say it. Come off your little high horse and get with the program. Oh, look at this fat boy. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. Got a slow moving bogey. And I can't get focus on him. I hate when that happens. Keep it right there. That's one of the big uh, C-17s. The fat boys. That's one of those I call fat boys. All right. All this land terrain is coming up. This again behind the sun. See that? See those little waves right there? That's frozen terrain, land mass, under ice. Everything cooked up around it is the what melted off of it, blew out over it. it into the space or floating above it because the sun burned it because it crossed up next behind the sun which is not 93 million miles away i'm explaining it scientifically these guys know i'm right and you know your, your people your little scientists they're under obligation not to tell you about any of this i'll 
am obligated to no one so I can say what I, I want to say. No, no, I'm right. These planets keep telling and I'll keep showing. That's all this is. It's common sense. Now, I'm a bit of a genius in my own way, but this is common sense. No, I'm not on drugs, not on alcohol. You know what this drug is? I'm on a drug called sky washing. I make music. That's my other drug. I like to research. I like to read. Those are my other drugs. I'm building my brain. That's my biggest drug. More lantern rain right there. Lantern, lantern. This is this one shows up really well. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Little mountain ridges. Yep. And you can see the contour of it. It's your whole asteroid body terrain, whatever. All right, we're out of here. I'm tired of staying out here. Third I came. Poof. Third I came back doing one more supplemental. The time is 1919, 719 from my civilians. This is east. I'm going to face back towards the sun. I always notice that when my planets are passing over, once the sun drops, the sky kind of turns milky white. People think this is our regular sky. I've been seeing it for a while. You know, this is a. Uh, the atmosphere, the top of the atmosphere of these other planets. Now that's one of its, I'm guessing this is one of our earth clouds or, no, this is a cloud coming off of that planet. That's how close it is. And see all these chemtrails? That's what I got shot off. That's where the actual body went to. That's, yeah, that's the body of it. The little egg shape deal is back in its cloudy cover moving on. Um, they chased it. And then the planet that's behind it, there's some of its cloud cover right here. Make sure I get this right. All this right here. Kind of just turning around above my head. West, north, east, south, above my head. Getting all that. So that's that's how it looks every day. If it looks like a, y'all think this is our normal sky, it's not. You're looking at the surface of another planet that's passing over this gassy planet or whatever. All right, that's all I got. Look, that was almost almost high. I had you see, let you see this guy passing through. Maybe I can get him. I'm gonna have to do a digital zoom. There he is. Back out some more. All right, I'm out of here. Third, I can't poof.